Ah, so this, this is, is a picture Jakku. of Jakku. Mm. And this is, I guess they've captured Poe and they're, uh, Kylo Ren is leaving in his cool shuttle thing. Uh, looking at Jakku, I see an impact crater right there. With mm. I don't know what this this these ejecta is called. This like spider looking thing. Yeah, these guys. And because this impact crater still exists and hasn't been eroded away, kind of makes it looks like the surface of Mars. I see that. Which means low erosion rates. Mm. Mm-hmm. Which means mm-hmm. Jakku is really inhospitable to life. Yet it has. Moisture in the atmosphere, nitrogen, oxygen atmosphere, no oceans to help facilitate the oxygen atmosphere, which as far as I understand on Earth, the oxygen is mostly made in the oceans. Um, So maybe Jakku has been terraformed or maybe it Mm. was terraformed and then they left. Because I remember on Tatooine in some of the games, there was like large corporations on Tatooine and they left. And now it's just desert. Oh, now it's wastelandy. I see. Yeah. You, so you're saying you're saying that if there was a planet that was more that was like naturally hospitable to humans, mm-hmm. then you would have things like water around and oxygen and wind, yeah. and, and so you wouldn't get things left over like this. Like you wouldn't get impact craters left over in in seemingly pristine condition, yeah. because it would get eroded away by whatever weather. And so, but the fact that this is here tells us something about that the planet. Isn't naturally hospitable to humans. Yeah, but but clearly there are people living there. Like, so maybe it's terraformed. Maybe it's terraformed. So maybe there is a lot of back history of Jakku that could be explored in the extended universe. Let's go back also, to Jakku. Yeah. Also, no oceans. That's a big one for me. Even if it is a desert planet, the fact that there's no oceans means I don't know if the atmosphere can be nitrogen, oxygen. So. I don't know. Unless but, it's like magically dialed in to just the right amount of oxygen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I guess what oxygen has to be constantly replenished over geologic because, time because it's so reactive. Oh, good point. So, so okay, let's okay. So on the short scale, the humans or whatever there are breathing in and converting to carbon dioxide. Yeah. So you're always losing some oxygen. Yeah. But you're saying on geological scales, oxygen is reactive with rock. So, so you'll yeah. take like say if you had some some iron around yeah. and, or in, even in the form of steel where is it iron and carbon and and mm-hmm. um chromium right chrome and then and then oxygen will get grabbed up and it gets turned into rust so yeah. oxygen is disappearing all the time because it gets absorbed into stuff yeah because it's so reactive yeah mm. so could could be an interesting backstory of, of jakku based on this one asteroid crater yeah yeah Maybe mm-hmm. maybe it was terraformed and filled with some oh, some O two some breathable oxygen, mm-hmm. and then when it was abandoned, there's just a timeline. There's, there's a there's a time limit on this planet, and people are living here yeah. for a while. But it's yeah. unless it's continually terraformed, right? And then this, um, so this I guess now that I'm thinking about it, if Jakku is an important place, why would the why would the Empire ever fight a battle around Jakku? It doesn't seem like it's an important place. Right. And yet here's a Star Destroyer that crash landed on Jakku. So was there a battle of Jakku? And then why would the Empire expend resources near Jakku? That's... <gasps> maybe, maybe it was a rebel base and they were terraforming it because it's like, oh, it's so inhospitable. Look at this, like humans can't live there. But okay. then when the rebels were bail- building a base there, they mm-hmm. had to make it livable. And But like it was cut the... The empire, or maybe the the mm-hmm. the new empire. What is it called? The first order. Force? First order. Thank you. The first order. Maybe they're like, ah, oh, we see it here. Let's go attack them. Okay. So I guess you're saying maybe the rebels were putting bases on inhospitable planets, which then Imperial intelligence figured out. So they send a star destroyer or a fleet of star destroyers. Somehow they lose to the rebels. Yeah. Or at sometimes least they lose lose a star destroyer. And if you mm-hmm. go to the left, there's also been a ground attack. On Jakku. Right. How, how important is Jakku? Jakku is somehow super important. Mm-hmm. So I guess this means there needs to be, have been a battle of Jakku during the rebellion times. Right. That's right. Because these are not these are not first order. Actually, this is this is the Empire style. Yeah. So mm. there's probably some history there. I haven't looked up on Wikipedia a battle of Jakku. Does that exist? You want to look it up? Let's let's look it up. Let's see. Battle of Jakku. Oh, hey. Oh, there we go. Whoa. 
Okay. Was decisive last stand of the Galactic Empire against the New Republic on the surface and above the desert world of Jakku. Due to final conclusion after a year of prolonged fighting following the Battle of Endor. So this is the last stand on Jakku? How did that happen? What a random location. Okay, wait. wait. I, need a, I need a moment to break this down. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> Battle of Endor is when Palpatine dies. Yep. It's when Vader goes down. That's when Luke wins the thing. Mm -hmm. But we're saying that even a year after that, yeah, they are the the Empire is still duking it out, yep. and it turns out the Jakku is in the last battle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Wow. Sound, sounds like we got some reading to do. Damn. Cool. You called, you called that. That's, that's really cool. Incredible.